Today is Sunday, the 30th of October 2016. This is one video in a series of videos dealing with uh, the New Health One version 8.1, which will be released later on in 2016, towards the end of the year. This particular video has to do with the uh, text editor in Health One. We can now add information on the fly from the patient file to an executed document. So, I'm going to uh, execute a quicklet as you would normally to send the patient to hospital. This is not a template, this is the executed document. And in here, I'm going to put some information directly from the patient file. So, I place, place the cursor under uh, flu like illness here. And in this version of Health One, in the Health One text editor, you have a pencil, a new icon here, which is a pencil icon with a little black arrow next to it. And if you click on that, you will see you can insert what we call live templates, in other words, live information into the template. So I'm going to show you these. For example, you can insert information from the Health One trends in the patient file by clicking on this button. Once you click on this, the trends will be loaded. It'll take and then the uh, trends are loaded. So I can click on any one item in the trends or I can hold the control key down and click on several items in the trends. Let's just say those items. And I can insert these directly into the executed template. I can insert the last three values or the last ten values. I can insert the date of each of those values. I can insert as a table or not. If I click on this, it would say insert the last x values, in this case the last three values as a table, or I could insert them just the last value, not the last three or four, but just the last value. Likewise, I can right click here and insert the last x values in the document. So this will immediately put in to this document the blood sugars, 8.4, 7.7 and 8.7 and the dates that were taken, plus the cholesterol, the LDLs and the triglycerides in a nice tabular format. I could do another one such as the blood pressure, uh, weight and BMI, for example. Right click and insert the last three values again into the document. And here we have the last three weights blood pressures and BMI. Now the blood pressure as you can see we have concatenated the systolic and diastolic into a very uh, display friendly format so uh, it is much easier to see within the document. So as well as that using the trends view I can not only insert the trends but I can insert any item for example an item that might not be in the trends by clicking on the any items tab here and I can type in any item I like, say creatinine or any other item, and I can highlight it, insert the last three values or the last two values, and insert as a uh, as a table in the document. So you have 93, the creatinine, and the date of all of these creatinines. So it will take items not only in the trends, but any item, even if it's not in the trends. And remember, this is inserting live data into the document as before you, you print it out. You don't have to uh, create a new template to extract these doc these, these, this information. So if I close that and I click again on my pencil I can show you that you can insert other data. For example I can insert data from the control F or shift control H uh, view which is all the data so for example if I wanted to send an x-ray report I could just type in x-ray highlight the x-ray I want and insert that as a table and lo and behold I will get if I exit that you will see I get the chest x-ray the details of that chest x-ray in a nice visible format with the date the x-ray was done here so that is another possibility when you're inserting data into the executed template. So let's just have a look at that again. I click on the little down arrow next to that and I've got 
live template from all data, which is in fact my x-ray or any other type of data, uh, live template from the trends, which is all this data I've put in, or I can pick any data, for example, from the active transaction. So the transaction that you're in at the moment, rather than putting the entire transaction in, I might want to say just put the subjective symptoms in and the blood pressure in or something that I don't have in my template and say uh, what was his temperature so I could insert those again I hide the empty items here insert them with the date and this is just to refresh it and the value insert the value in the document and here we have the subjective symptoms and the, uh, the date and the uh, temperature and all the, the stuff I selected so you can put all of this into an executed template remember we are not editing a template we are just uh, hitting the this button here, executing our normal quicklet for example, and while we have it open we're inserting a lot of data we can. We think this will improve uh, your quicklet dramatically in that you won't have to set up different templates to extract different information. Uh, the last one we have here is just insert a live template which is predefined things like the doctor's name, the uh, user uh, phone number and we put in some more and you could put in the problem list or uh, some other data that we have preset but the uh, main thing you'll probably use it is from the trends where you want to put in the last three PSAs and stuff so and you can print that document and send it off so I'm not going to arc uh, I will archive that actually as a quicklet and I have it in here and uh, once I open it you can see all my data is in here. So to summarize, this is a, a new feature in 8.1 which will be released in the end of 2016 which allows you when you're sending any letter, it doesn't have to be quicklet, any letter at all, using the Health One text editor, we haven't, it's not in Word, it's in the Health One text editor, you have a new feature whereby if you pick a spot on your file anywhere at all, you can, with the use of this pencil and the arrow next to it, insert any data you like from the patient file, such as, for example, the uh, cholesterol and hold the control key down, the LDL, the HbA1c and the blood sugar. And you can insert them as a table, with or without the date and the last x values. You can right click and insert them directly into the file and continue to write your document, free text or whatever you like. And that's the end of this recording. Thank you.